Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at the final of the newest round of PNSO figures that currently I had to review because we've had quite a long run as far as the PNSO line goes for quite some time. And although it's not over because they're just taking a slight break, as of the figures that are already currently released, this is the last one that I have to review until they start to bombard us with even more incredible figures. But this one is the Chinsusaurus, and it is one that, again, was a species I was so happy to see PNSO making because it's a species that we have very few figures of, and in fact, the only ones previously would have been the smaller PNSO Mini and the Safari LTD version. They're the only ones that I know of personally offhand, but this one here looks far better than anyone else's as far as what I can see from the image right here. The figure as a whole looks absolutely gorgeous here on the front of the box, and you can also see an image there kind of showing off the jaw articulation, as well, of course, as the logo of PNSO down here and the name of the dinosaur and species title. And then up here on the top of the box, we have another shot of the Chinsusaurus and its head sculpt right there, PNSO and everything. And then on the opposing side, we just have some information, basically same thing we saw on the previous side, but now in Chinese. So let's go ahead, break this box open and take a look at this figure. As always, we have our awesome PNSO booklet right here with a beautiful image of the Chinsusaurus right there on the front. Really nice image of the head sculpt. And then once we open this up and take a look at the inside of this bad boy, we have again another image of the head sculpt. Another image also kind of of the head sculpt, a silhouette with part of the bone structure up there of the animal, and then some information on PNSO and the Chinsusaurus as well. As always, this is kind of pretty much the same thing that they usually include with this style figure, and I love each and every one of these awesome additions continuously to these figures. And then we have our Chinsusaurus itself, and man is that thing so nice, super beautiful beautiful looking paint scheme on the figure really really nice looking appearance beautiful pose everything about this figure instantly has me so psyched this is yet another one of those figures where i just get it out and i'm almost in awe at how beautiful it is it's a really nicely done figure and definitely if you ask me the best figure of this species out there it's just so unbelievably beautiful right here so I'm just too excited about this figure. Cannot wait any longer. Let's go ahead and just get a closer look at it right now. So starting up at the head sculpt, that is one incredibly beautiful head sculpt right there. PNSO just slamming so much detail, so much incredible detail into the head sculpt of this Chinsusaurus and also a lot of really, really nice paintwork. There is quite a bit of paint application going on here in the face and I'm loving every minute of that as well. You can see quite a few nice variations of lighter and darker browns that you can kind of see run up here on the snout by the nostril area over the top of the head. And then down into the eye socket area, you can see it's very nicely darkened around the eye. The eye itself also sports some incredibly nice paintwork, especially for how small that eye is. It looks like it includes a reddish coloration or a reddish brown and then a yellow and then a black pupil and all really nicely glossed. And you can continue to see the really beautiful coloration throughout the entire head sculpt as you have kind of like a greenish type of a color that also has some black kind of spotting and striping through the upper jaw down into the lower jaw and then kind of like a mixture of an off white and sort of like variations of brown that are appearing here on the lower jaw. Lots and lots of really nice color variation really showing off the beauty of both this figure and the species itself. You can also see the nostrils sculpted out right there really quite nicely as well as the ear back here very nicely defined with a darker coloration. The jaw of course is articulated so let's get that mouth open and take a look at the inside. You can see the teeth look really good definitely very menacing. I would absolutely not like to be bitten by one of these. And the inside of the mouth sports a really nice, very realistic coloration. It appears to have kind of like a reddish wash on the inside of the mouth as well, maybe to insinuate blood, maybe just to give it some alternate variation of color. The kind of skin flap here on the side of the mouth is really beautifully sculpted as well, sporting some incredible detail, and everything is beautifully glossed to look very nice, very realistic, and have that very realistic saliva-like appearance. If I can find a way to get the light. Oh, there we go. Wow. Look at how incredible that is on the inside of the mouth. Man, PNSO goes to such great lengths to make sure that their figures are as top 
notch and top quality as possible. And uh, one area that I think that really shines is on the inside of the mouths. The jaw works really nicely as well. You can see you can pretty much open that to any distance you would like. Taking a look here at the opposing side of the head, that side of the head as well is just incredibly beautiful. This may be one of the best PNSO figures already, and we've only looked at the head sculpt that I think is in existence today. It's that gorgeous, if you ask me, really, really nicely done. As we start to lead back here into the neck, you can see some really nice scale detail, kind of like some wrinkles and everything going on here in the neck region as far as the skin texture goes. Of course, the Chinsusaurus has its head turned to the right, so you would expect to see some wrinkling and stuff going on right in that area. You can also see the underside sports some really nice scale detail. The sculpt is uh, beautifully elaborating the throat as well, just generally making the entire neck region look really muscular, I think. You can see that the really nice greenish coloration kind of continues on from the face, the upper part of the face, and then runs down here into the neck, and you have those nice brown stripes that make sure that the dinosaur looks nice and striking, but at the same time, really nice and natural. Moving down here into the arms, you can see some really nice detailing as far as the skin movement right there behind the arm. Beautiful fold in the arm as the arm is kind of tucked into the body. Nice paintwork all the way down the arm into the hands. You have some really nice scoots that run down the course of the fingers. The nails as well are really nicely painted and nicely glossed also. Some gorgeous skin detail here in the stomach region. As you can kind of see the skin stretching off of the leg with this leg, pulling that skin back and also just generally like some skin wrinkles right there as the arm is kind of pushing into the body. So as always, PNSO really paying attention to exactly what would be occurring in the body at the moment that the dinosaur is in the position it's in. Really nice attention to detail as always. You can also see the coloration here in the stomach lightens really nicely, really smooth transitions between those colors as you have kind of an off-white that's similar to what we saw on the lower jaw right there in the stomach region. As we lead up here into the back, you can continue to see those nice brown stripes very nicely applied. The hip is elaborated quite nicely, and you can see some beautiful muscle tone within the leg, both in the thigh and calf region. As you move down here into the leg, the kneecap is present, and then we come down into that really beautiful foot sculpt, really nice scoots down the course of the feet, beautiful scoots down the toes. And the foot kind of transitions to like a black, like it's very, very dark on the front of the foot right there. And then you also have the very nicely sculpted nails. They kind of appear to have a slightly different shade of coloration than what we see there on the toes. So a little bit of extra color variation. You can also see the dew claws are present back there. And then coming back up into the tail here, you can see some nice wrinkling going on right here at the rear of the thigh and just kind of showing off again some of the movement there as the dinosaur is walking along. And then we have some gorgeous skin texture as we move out the length of the tail. Those stripes continue to look nice and vibrant the entire way out. Beautiful appearance as far as that goes. There's a really nice curve to the tail as well. Nothing that I feel like is even remotely unnatural as far as the curve goes beautifully done in that aspect as well and then on this side we can again see the ear sculpted out right there we can also see that the dinosaur again has its head turned away from us now so you can really see the skin detail and everything in the neck region here as the skin was more so stretching than bunching up like we had seen on the previous side but you can still see some wrinkles and stuff just generally again showing some of the movement within the skin you can also pick up on some osteoderms and stuff here in the chest region of the chinsusaurus and then coming down into the arm the arm looks really good similar to what we had seen on the previous side you can kind of see like some bunching of the skin in the stomach region due to the arm kind of pushed into the body a little bit the hand looks really good again painted just like we saw in the feet with like that blackish coloration but you can see the scoots down the fingers and then the very nicely sculpted and painted nails coming up into the stomach region lots of really nice skin wrinkles right here as this leg is pushing into the body and really bunching that skin up that's beautifully sculpted you can see lots of really nice osteoderms throughout the entire stomach and some gorgeous scale detail throughout the entire stomach as well and then coming up here into the back you can also see again some of those really nice stripes love the way that these darker brown stripes play off of that kind of like greenish coloration of the body and then you can really see yet again the musculature of this leg as this leg is pulling forward you can really see the skin stretching off of the tail right there Lots and lots of skin detail as far as like wrinkles and stuff is shown right in that spot. Beautiful creasing in the rear of the knee as well. You can yet again see the very nice musculature in the calf region and the kneecap is present over here as well. 
the brown stripes continue to run down the course of the shin down into the foot you have that very nice blackish coloration and the scoots are kind of highlighted with like that greenish coloration just a bit over here on this foot and you can again see the nails how they're sculpted how they're painted quite nicely very realistically you can also see the dew claw again over here you really see the Duplon on that side now. And then coming back up into the tail, again, it looks nice and big and bulky like the tail should. It's a very nice and very strong animal, beautifully displayed within the sculpt. Again, that very nice natural looking curve. And then if we look at the underside, we have the cloaca present back here and just generally a ton of really gorgeous detailing here on the underside as well as some really nice paintwork with like variations of an off-white and some light browns. Gorgeous, gorgeous work continuously on the part of PNSO, and this is an unbelievably beautiful figure. Another really exciting aspect about this figure, and it's something that has been quite abundant throughout the entire line of the newest wave of PNSO figures, is that it balances really, really well. You can see it's standing there perfectly with absolutely no balancing issues whatsoever. However, you also have another one of these stands, so that if the dinosaur has any balancing issues, you can just kind of place this under the dinosaur, and you don't have any issues with it falling over just to help it balance, which is a really nice idea on the part of PNSO. So always looking out for us, making sure we get the best possible product. So if the dinosaur eventually starts to happen to have any type of balancing issue, starts falling over, you have the stand to back up on, which is an awesome addition to the set. But as you can see, currently this does not have any standing issues whatsoever. So the stand at this point in time is not needed. As far as a size goes for the Chinsusaurus, in the length department, you are going to see it come in at about nine and a half inches or about 24 centimeters. And then for a height, actually, we'll just go behind it. You're looking at about three and a half inches or around nine centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon next to our PNSO Chinsusaurus, and you can definitely see that next to these figures, this figure still sports a pretty darn nice size to it. I would say medium, closing in on large, maybe even potentially a smaller large figure, if that makes any sense whatsoever, but you can definitely get a good idea of the fact that the figure does sport a pretty good size overall. And then for a second size comparison, here is the recent releases of PNSO with the Maragaya and the Carnotaurus next to our Chinsusaurus. So if you happen to have one of these and not the other, you should have at least an idea of how well they size up in comparison to each other. All absolutely incredible figures. So this brand new PNSO Chinsusaurus is awesome and unbelievably beautiful figure yet again from PNSO. They never ever cease to amaze me with the overall beauty and quality of their releases and this is yet another figure in a pretty darn long line of incredible figures that PNSO just out of nowhere started laying upon us and man I'm so happy that they did because they easily gave me some of the best figures in my collection with this last run and I'm really excited to see what they produce in the upcoming run when they return very very soon with potentially another gigantic plethora of releases, but you can definitely see throughout this figure that sculpt-wise, it is off the charts beautiful. There is so much incredible detail included within this figure that, again, stating it is highly detailed is pretty much an understatement for something as beautifully sculpted as this. Every ounce of detail that would be occurring with this figure, with this species at this time for the positioning of the body is all beautifully and brilliantly shown within the sculpt throughout every area of the dinosaur. Again, this continues to run with that line of really, really highly detailed figures that I keep commenting on how the newer PNSO figures seem even more detailed than some of the older ones, which the older ones were incredibly well detailed. And I'm still you know, just talking about like this run specifically. Like if we go back to the beginning of this run with figures like the Lambiosaurus and stuff, and we compare them to the newer figures with like the Carnotaurus, the Chinsusaurus, Wilson, the Maragaya, a whole bunch of them, the detailing is just incredible on these figures even in comparison to the earlier releases from this run so that just shows how much pnso really is improving as time goes on and they just continue to get better and better and better and at this point in time i would say that they are easily one of the best dinosaur producing companies in the world without question they are just producing some of the best dinosaur figures that we have ever seen and may ever see the paintwork on this Chinsusaurus as well is top-notch. It's not exactly the way it appears in the prototype, but 
I think it's pretty darn close and it still looks incredibly nicely done here in person and I actually may like it even a little more here in person as far as what I see in comparison to the prototype. I just am absolutely in love with everything about this figure, whether it's the pose, the paint, everything looks awesome. I love the tones of color that they've chosen for this as well with kind of like that greenish coloration, that really light green it's a very beautiful looking coloration, a very nice and natural coloration. And the way that those darker colors, as far as like the brown stripes go, really plays off of that green in a beautiful fashion, just making the entire figure incredibly striking. And the paintwork in the face is off the charts beautiful. There's just so much variation of color in the face, again, making it look very, very realistic overall. And the pose is also quite nicely done. It's just kind of walking along. It's not any type of a crazy dynamic pose, nice and natural, but I personally am definitely a fan of that as well. So as a whole, this figure is absolutely awesome and a very high recommendation from me. Trust me, you would never in a million years regret purchasing any of these newer PNSO figures. So as always, I will include a link in the description to where you can purchase this figure. So make sure you check the description, go buy this awesome PNSO Chinsu source, and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.